Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim. One of the favorite things I really like to do uh, in this video series is to provide hopefully helpful tips and tricks on how to use the Tetrix parts in an effective way. So that's what I wanna to talk to you about today and that's especially with the double servo bracket. Now, we obviously know how to use the single servo bracket and that's typically uh, our original servo bracket that we've used there. We've talked about other uh, servo brackets that use the servo singularly. Uh, but I wanna to talk to you today about the double servo bracket. Uh, and I've got one here where I actually have um, the two servos mounted just like you normally would. I would connect them with uh, a Y and then I would be able to control them uh, with one output. So this is typically what you've done. And basically what we're doing with this is we're doubling the power or output that we get from a servo application. And typically we would use our uh, pivot bracket that we made for that. And we would just attach it just like this. Uh, I'll show that to you like that. The, and it would go onto the servos. And then as that pivots, um, we've got a single output that the two servos are working together. Well, uh, I recently was at the WRO competition in uh, India, and I saw a really creative way that they use this application, but the uh, typical or the normal uh, pivot bracket wasn't long enough, so they created their own. So I really wanted to show that to you, and credit for this has to go to the Danish uh, WRO, WRO ARC team, that's the Advanced Robotics category, um, and because they tip, uh, showed this to me, so I thought this was very creative. And if you see here, basically, they've taken uh, our flats, our 96 millimeter flat, and um, it could be either a uh, axle hub or a motor hub, an inside C, a threaded spacer, a round spacer, and uh, a bracket on the other side, same size. And they basically, if you look at that, they've just made that, duplicated that, uh, pivot bracket, but just a little bit longer. And the really cool thing about this is that I could take flats of any length and I could make that, if I just duplicated the sides on either side, make pivot brackets of whatever length that I need. So this would actually work in the exact same way. It would connect in the same way, just like our pivot bracket, but it gives me a longer lever. So I thought that was a very creative and unique way of duplicating this in a, a longer form to use it in the same way. So I wanted to share that with you again. I'm gonna give a shout out and credit to um, that Danish team uh, uh, from the art category for the WRO competition for this year's uh, event in Delhi, India. So thanks again for that. Hope you found that helpful. Maybe that's something you can use on your robots. So remember, like we say, build some robots, have fun, and come back and see us.